Hey growers, just take a look at my YOLO Wonder Sweet Peppers today. <laughs> oh yeah, rock and roll. They are loving their new life in their new hydroponic homes, courtesy of this Titan Flow and Grow 12 pot modular flood and drain system. It's been a little over a month since we transplanted them. Summer's finally arrived, bringing with her nighttime temperatures in the upper 60s and daytime highs in the mid 80s. Now, relative humidity has hovered between 40 and 55 percent. It's a little low, but hey, I can live with that. Now, check out all that beautiful, lush green foliage. Now, if you need reminding, I'm feeding them General Hydroponics Flora Series nutrients, equal parts of grow, micro, and bloom. Also, after that nasty cold snap and the premature flowering, I've left the front row to, you know, do their thing while I've been picking all the flowers off the back row in an effort to retard fruit production. Hopefully, that way I get a more staggered crop and some vertical growth up this trellis here. I'm going to be trying some more plants during techniques later too, so stay tuned. Let's take a closer look at the front row. This first plant has formed three small green fruits so far. I'd say around half a dozen flowers aborted, but as you can see, there are plenty more. Looking along the rest of the front row, I'd say most plants have two or three peppers forming already, and hopefully it won't be long until they're in my salad bowl. Hey, look at that! This one has four! I wonder if that's too many. Please excuse the leathery foliage. Yeah, I've probably got a little overzealous with the nutrient concentration. Oh, this system has just flooded, so let's quickly check the nutrient solution in the control bucket. Hmm, EC 1.5. That's around 750 ppms. That's okay. And a pH of 6.8. Well, that's risen a little high. I'll add some dilute pH down once the flood cycle is complete. Okay, let's take a look at the back row plants. Well, most seem a little taller, but we're not quite reaching for the skies just yet. As I said, I've been picking off the flowers from the back row in an effort to encourage them to grow up the trellis, uh, but, you know, they keep stubbornly producing more. I can pick off a handful like this off each plant every day, and it seems... Hold on a second. We may have a bug emergency. Can, can you see those green creepy crawlies on my hand? Let me take a look. Oh, no. We have aphids. Come on, camera, focus. Focus, you piece of sh... <laughs> Calm, Everest. Keep calm. Okay, can, can you see those? Damn it. I, I can't believe I missed these. Okay, I need to deal with this. <sighs> Anyone got any ideas? Like, how do I attract a platoon of ladybugs to my terrace to gobble all these mofos up? Well, I guess I can start by removing the colonized leaves. See how they like to hang out under the underside like this? Notice how the leaf has warped a little too. Classic sign of aphid damage. I, I really should have spotted this sooner. Damn, I hope it's not too bad. I'm going to multitask and nip off any flowers I see forming on the back row while I hunt for more aphids. I wonder if I'm somehow attracting aphids to my plants by removing the flowers. You know, maybe they can smell the open wound I leave when I nip them off. See, I can only find aphids on the back row of plants. Weird. Oh, no, hang on. There they are, hiding inside the flowers. D do you see that right there? Yeah. Uh, I need to read up about this. Now, I assure you, I didn't plan this, but it just so happens that I got a hold of Ed Rosenthal's awesome new book this week, Protect Your Garden. Check out all these photos showing all the common garden pests. Better yet, Ed proposes eco-friendly pest control measures, which are definitely more up my alley. Now let's see. Aphids, aphids, aphids. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Ed recommends herbal oils, neem oil, or insecticidal soap. So I'm hoping that the higher temperatures will slow their breeding rates too. Yeah. It says here aphids like it warm, but not hot. Now then... I mentioned this earlier that I was going to try some more plant steering ideas for the back row of our pepper plants. This idea is thanks to Jason Ralph Smith from Autopot. He suggested on our Facebook page that I should try pruning my plants just leaving two or three of the strongest stems. I'm going to be fairly brutal. Don't worry. I want to thin out the foliage a little too. 
For one thing, it'll make it easier to spot any more critters that, you know, want to catch a free lunch. Um, but the <laughs> but the real idea here is to concentrate on the auxins. Those are the natural growth hormones and just a few growth tips and make our back row grow taller. I'm using a super sharp vegetable knife from my kitchen. Don't tell my wife. All right, we're about done. Now, as I've said, I've thinned out the back row so each plant has between one and three strong stems. I'm relaxing a little bit from, you know, the discovery of our little hitchhiker friends. And um, here's all the foliage I removed. It looks like quite a pile, doesn't it? Now, I've been especially brutal to this last plant on the back row, reducing it to just one lead growth tip. I'll be keeping my eye on this one. Oh, hey! With all the other excitement, I nearly forgot to lift the buckets to show you the root development. Uh, crouch down here low for this one, camera dude, so try and get the underside of the bucket. Hey, 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 not that low. Yeah, you don't want to be shooting up my shorts, right? I mean, we don't want to be permanently banned from YouTube or end up like, you know, on a Reddit sub thread. All right, so looking pretty good. White and healthy, poking up from the hydrocorn growing media. I just want to see a few more of them, but you know, hey. It's still relatively early days, so, you know, I guess time will tell. Oh, look at that! It's a ladybug! Oh, sent from the heavens! Oh, ladybug, I love you! Go forth, eat all those pesky aphids and multiply! Yes! Okay, that'll do for now, so don't forget to post your comments and questions, including aphid control tips, at uh, justforgrowers.com. You'll find lots more videos and articles there, too. More updates on this grow soon to follow.